as creative people, and I'm not talking about just artists and musicians and actors and authors and things like that. We are all creative in every job that we do. As creative people, we've got to come together. We've got to move this generation beyond the COVID-19 lockdown and the potential of there being another. It, it, there's just a bunch of angry people everywhere. And we've got to create a way to break free, to walk away. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. It's actually developed into a, a teaching tool. Stream thinking. Forward emotion. Being available to create right now. I like to get with future leaders of creativity and show them that being in the place of right now is where so much is. And you've got to learn how to trust it without editing it. Being right here to feel what's moving through you right now so that your creative level can have an experience before everybody else begins to judge it. Hey, it's Errol. This is Stream Thinking, The Power of Now. Learning to trust freeform writing. Your best decisions are right now, and it's time that you learn how to own your own leadership. I do this every day, and I do teach this. I, I'm off two four-hour lectures. I'm just freshly back from that. I, I, I teach that it's one page. That's all we want, one page. Give yourself 10 minutes to write, and like I said, no editing, but leave it open for time to talk about what it is that you put down on the sheet of paper. And I'm not talking about putting your thoughts on a computerized sheet of paper. I'm talking about physical paper in a book that you can call your own using a writing instrument and not your thumbprints. This is stream thinking. What this can't become is my place to gripe. Oh my God, we have become this generation that likes to gripe. I don't have it in me anymore. Somewhere, I would turn it into a mismatch moment, into some sort of daily exercise that maybe I can answer 10 years from now. Oh, I've got an opinion. Oh, trust me, I'm 59 years old. You're born with an opinion, and you don't get to exercise it until you get to be an old guy. I find myself not wanting to write in an energetic, verbal conversation that's going to go absolutely nowhere. As long as I'm on the microphone or in a performance mode, I'll bring the content required to make a true connection. But outside of that, the most I ever say is left on a page. And this place can't become a platform to gripe. Oh, we love to just gripe about everything. Will it make COVID go away? I don't care how much you're griping. It ain't going to go away. Will it teach the flying insects to bother someone else? Doesn't matter how much you gripe, they ain't going away. So why are we wasting so much time complaining? Soon the shadows are going to bend the other way. And what will we have to show for any of it? Well, I guess we pissed off somebody today. <sighs> how are we ever in the mood to create this scene? We gripe. We complain. We find weaknesses in others. Now, I'll tell you the reason why many of us do that. Because we like to compare our lives to others. And if we see others who have tripped and stumbled and are, are having worse times than what we are, then we feel better about ourselves. That's why at the grocery store, the magazine rack is right there at the cash register. By the time you get up there to fork out your $300 for that big old basket of groceries, you've been through Brad Pitt going through a divorce. You've been through every actor, every, every, every musician that has had a really bad time. And so when you get up there to pay for that, you're going, whew, this is a lot of money. But at least I'm not going through that. We like to gripe. I'd like to remove that word from the dictionary, gripe. Who even invented that word? It, it just, it, it sounds dirty, nasty. But it is what I'm doing right now. I'm griping. Where's the inspiration in that? I'm Arrow, and that's Stream Thinking.